Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Akshar Roba. So today in my video, we'll be solving some difficult problems using the mesh method. Here I have a question. Use mesh method to find the power in 100 ohm resistor and voltage across 10 ohm resistance. So here is the circuit. We need to find the power in the 100 ohm resistor and voltage across 40 ohm resistance. Let's get started. So as you already know, first we need to mark the branches. Let's get started. We'll start from this point, A, B, C, D. So next we need to write down the possible loops. So in this question we have three possible loops. As you already know, we can see one, two, three loops here. So let's write it down. First will be A, B, C, D. I mean A, B, C, A, the first loop. So let's write it down. C, A. Now the second loop will be B, D, C, B. B, D, C, B. So let's write it down. And the third loop is this loop, the bigger one, that be A, C, D, and A. So A, C, D, A. You already know the next step. It is marking the branch, I mean marking the mesh current. So first let's begin with this mesh. I one just randomly marking it this way. Here I two and here let's mark I three. I three. Next is marking the branch current. So if you see here, you can see it's moving from B to A. I1. Here it's A to C. I1. Here I2 is D to C. I2. Here downward B to D. I2. And if you see here it's moving both are both I1 and I2 are moving upwards. So upwards and that's I1 plus I2 now here we have I3 so I3 is flowing this way that's D to A I3 and then it's moving with I1 so plus I Three. Then if you see how it's moving against I2 in the opposite direction to minus I3. I hope you get that. This time we are directly going to write it down in the matrix. So here I have the matrix. I'm just a matrix to explain. So R11. R1 to R1 to R2 1. So while doing this, you know, to do without confusion, I'll just name the loops. First loop, second loop, third loop. So first you need to, you already know it. If you have seen my first video, that's mesh method part one, I've explained how to do it in the matrix method. So R11 is the sum of resistance in loop one the sum of resistance in loop one so when you write it again the sum of resistance in loop one is 20 10 30 so it's 60 next is r one two 
R12 is the resistance that's common to loop 1 and 2. That's why I have this number 1, 2. It's easy to refer. So resistance common to 1 and 2. Here, this is the first loop. This is the second loop. The resistance that's common to 1 and 2 is 10. So I can write here. Ten. And the current flowing there is I1 plus I2. So it's positive 10. Then R13 is the resistance that's common to loop 1 and 3. So 1 and 3 is this and this. So there you have a 30 ohm resistance that's common to these two loops. So you can write it here 30. And the current that's flowing here also are positive. So 30. The same way we're going to do it in loop 2 and 3. That's row 2 and 3. So here R21, R21 R1, and R12 are the same. So here will be 10. And then R22 is the sum of resistance in the second loop. So you can remember 2, 2 will be the whole of 2, 2, I mean the second loop. So here we have 10, 40, and 50. So it's 100. And R23 is the resistance that's common to 2 and 3. Loop 2 and 3, that's here, 50. And the sign there is minus. That's I2 minus I1. So it's minus 50. They're flowing in opposite direction. We do minus. And then R31, you know, 1, 3, and 3, 1 are the same. So here is 30. We copy it down. 3, 2 is 2, 3, and 3, 2 are the same. So minus 50. And 3, 3 is the sum of resistance here. It's 100, 30, 50, so 180. Then I1, I2, I3. voltage so first loop the voltage source is from here 100 volts yeah and you have to look something important for the voltage source is that if to check if it's positive or negative if the current flowing starts from the positive if you're aware it starts from the positive so it's positive 100 when you go to the loop 2 if you extend it this also starts from the positive of the battery positive side of the voltage source so that will be also positive 100 just in case if the current direction was this way like it's an example if the current source was like this like this then it will start from the negative then it will be minus 100 volt so since here and in the third loop there is no voltage so, so zero symbol now you can directly write it down in your calculator and then you can solve this that's it so i have my calculator here many of you won't know how to use the metrics and calculator if you don't know i'm explaining it so in this calculator how to do it in fx 991e x so i'll show you how to do it in this model awning it and then shift mode I'm sorry then mode so in mode there's many modes here is A is equation and function so we'll be doing this as an equation so you give A so that's a simultaneous equation and polynomial equation. This, you know, it's simultaneous because you don't know the value. So you give 1. And then the number of unknowns here is I1, I2, I2. We need to know I1, I2, and I3. So it will be 3. Here it comes. Now you just have to enter the values. Here in this case, it's 60 equal to 10 equal to... 30 equal to 100 then 10 equal to 100 equal to minus 50 equal to 100 then 30 equal to minus 50 equal to 180 equal to 0 then you give you get it so you just press and you get 1.5 
1.54 that'll be i1 1.54 it's important that you put the unit ampere and the second value is 0 0.83 unit ampere third value is minus 0 0.025 so 0 0.025 Ampere. Minus means the current direction should be in opposite. So if you see I3, the current direction is from D to A. When it says minus, the actual current direction is actually from A to B is the actual direction of I. That's uh, 0 0.025 Ampere. That's why there's a minus. Now you need, you know the value of I1, I2 and I3. So you can, it's easy for us to find the value of power as it's mentioned in the question. Power in the 100 ohm resistor. So where's the 100 ohm resistor? It's here. So the power in the 100 ohm resistor. We know that P equal to I square R. So here in this 100 ohm resistance i3 and the value of i3 is 0 0.025 the whole square into r is 100 so when you type that in the calculator you get 0 0.0625 watt that's the power the second part of the question is voltage across 40 ohm resistance. There's only one 40 ohm resistance, it's here. So the voltage across this resistance. So we know that V equal to I R. So it's simple. Across 40 ohm resistance, I1. So value of I1 is 0 0.83. So we write 3 into 40. When you type it in the calculator, you get 33.2 volt. It's important that you put the it's important that you put the unit for power it's watt and for voltage. Sorry, it's volts for voltage volts. And this is how you do this problem. It's a very simple and a very easy one. When you look at the diagram, you will think that, oh my God, that's so difficult. But if you actually try the problem, it's nothing. It's just so easy. Now, this is another model question that can come for exam. So if you see here, they gave you the current direction, I1, I2, I3, and you will have to find the RL. You have to find RL. They can even give you the current value of I2, for example, they gave I2 equal to 10 ampere, and you have to find RL. This can be another kind of question that they ask in the exams. So how do you solve this problem actually? It's really easy since you know the I2 value and you know that the current that's passing through RL is I2. It's really easy to find the value. You just have to directly do it in the matrix. So I'm drawing the matrix. Now the sum of resistance here is 30 and common is 20 the direction of current is opposite to minus 20 to first and third there's nothing common zero here will be minus 20 it's the same then here will be 20 plus 30 or you don't know so it'll be 50 plus or L the unknown value and then common two will be 30 both are flowing upwards and this is flowing downwards so opposite direction so it'll be minus 30 
on the third at 5, 10, 35. 0, minus 30. And then I1, I2, I3, I2's value you know, so you can write here 10 ampere equal to the voltage when it starts from positive, so 100 volt, there's no voltage, so, so 0, it starts from negative, so minus 50 volt. So now you know you can you can't solve this using the calculator, but you can use the simultaneous equation and solve this question. You can solve this question on your own and send me the whole answer in comments. If you don't get the answer, you can ask me in the comments, so I'll reply in the comments. So try this problem and find the answer yourself. It's just simple. I wrote the method. You can solve it as simultaneous equation, three, sim three equations. When you separate them, you'll get three equations. You can solve it as three simultaneous equations and you'll get the value of I1, I3 and RL. So do that. This is it for this video. So like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts comment if you want me to do any video on any other topics you can also suggest those topics and you know these are exam style questions a bit tricky when it when you look at it it will feel tricky but when you actually try it's easy all you need to do is try them out so thank you for watching Bye-bye. See you guys on my another video.